in few days from now we have the ca final exams coming up many of the students at this time would be scared would be thinking of postponing the attempt or skipping it all together or just getting rid of the course itself this is not the right approach let us try to bring you a inspiring story about khushbu khatri who is a chartered accountant a company secretary with a decade of experience in both big four global and country practice over the years she has won many accolades with the recent one being amazing women award which we will speak about in this video as well most importantly she is a mother to a very talented daughter welcome khushbu for this particular chat thank you so much param uh, for giving me this opportunity and having me in your channel so looking forward to it and and thank you so much for this amazing intro as well over to you you are most welcome khushbu so khushbu we'll keep it very simple during the interview we'll break this uh, uh, specific sections like how you started this particular course how it helped you in being a very thorough professional which you are and then how your uh, corporate journey has been so far as well so let's start what made you take up the chartered accountancy course so yeah um long time before but yes uh, uh it's basically my dad's dream which i have fulfilled um i still remember um after um after actually class 12 so when we have to think what we have to do next um that particular moment i wanted to be a, a fashion designer i went to my dad and uh, he was like okay let's go to uh, nift um, and get the form uh, you know get yourself enrolled and i was excited but he uh, suddenly he just came up with an idea he said uh, why don't you you know think of a professional course which is uh, chartered accountancy and um, you know think about it it will uh, really make your career very dif- give a di- different career perspective um, what you are thinking at the moment but he gave me 24 hours to decide whether i still want to pursue what i want to do or um, sca something which is something you know maybe uh, seems exciting to me so that 24 hours i still remember uh, was something which decided where i am today uh yes i looked into pros and cons and i just decided at the end of those 24 hours that um, i want to be a ca um, and i thought uh, it would give immense happiness to my family once i fulfill their dream so that was something a target which i took it and by god grace and of course family support i'm here today so yeah that's amazing that's how- parents parents are a key driver to start any of our journeys I spoke the same in one of the videos I recorded with Ashna, who completed her CPA as well. Her parents were really after her, gave her that guidance. So, not surprised that you have also the same same thing which has happened to you, which we write, which is great. But then one thing I know about your uh, specific journey and and which is a very standout for me and what I want to specifically bring out to everyone, right? Uh, in between your studies, you got married as well, right? Uh, and I I feel. it was after ca inter that happened how was that experience how did you manage to complete the course after that as well yeah um that that's really amazing actually so um so how it happened um is after my 12th i i i started my ca journey along with my graduation the moment I, my graduation got over um i i by the time i ended my inter as well um uh, and then i started my articleship uh, after my graduation i thought you know I, and there was a time span you know to give your final exam from the ca inter uh in that time span i just don't wanted to lose the um, essence of studying so i thought um, let me you know still give that have that practice of giving exams so i opted for cs as well but the moment my articleship got over i was left with ca and cs final exams um but yes and uh, in between that i i met my soulmate so of course uh, we decided to get married first and then um you know opt for my final exams but yes that's how uh, we went to our family and we said that uh, at the moment it's getting distracted whereas i just wanted to you know get my personal milestone done and then get into this professional stuff so that's how um i got married in 2011 and uh, took a break which ideally i should not but uh, finally on 2013 i completed my 
uh, CA journey and uh, in 2012, I completed my CS journey. So yeah, my both the professional qualifications are after my marriage. This is really in inspiring, Khushbu, right? Uh, so many things changes after, say, say when we get married, we have different families, what we have to deal with altogether. You have to stay with a different person as well, right? Understand how their culture is or, or say, adjust in that environment. And in that, you have studied, completed your professional qualifications, not one, but two. Simply amazing, right? And that's what I wanted and to bring in front of the students as well, right? That if somebody can do it, why can't you as well? Completely agree, Param. And definitely, I want to thank my entire family, both uh, my in-laws as well as my parents. It would have definitely not been possible without everyone. And of course, my husband as well. Uh, so all of them have been a key driver for pushing me what I am today and where I am here. So, yeah. <laughs> That's simply amazing. Then do you remember the day when you checked your final, <laughs> final results of uh, Chartered Accountancy? How was that feeling? Yeah, 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 yeah. I do remember. It was uh, it was 16th of July, 2013. Um and I remember I was uh, very scared uh, to check. We, we, we normally check it on online, right? And I asked my husband to enter my role number and he was he was actually doing that. And I was sitting opposite to him. And I my first reaction was I saw him screaming. Um, and then, of course, I saw and then I, you know, I realized, OK, I, I it's a pass. And um, yeah, and uh, post that I called my dad. Um, I said it was his dream um, and in my, you know, my my family um, before me, there was no one who did uh, a professional qualifications. It was I was the first one to opt for it. And I still remember when I said him, uh, he just ended up crying. So and my mom as well, of course, she has been the most important you know, part of my life all together all these years and uh, have pushed me you know, so much. But. When I heard my dad crying uh, with happiness, uh, that's something uh, which I felt, OK, what all I have sacrificed all these years. I think this is what the day I wanted to see. I wanted to see him and my mom happy. And by God, grace, grace it happened. Yeah. <laughs> super, Kujbu, super. Now, when you reflect back as well, right, do you think it was worth it to do the chartered accountancy course? Of course, of course. There were a lot of... Uh, a lot of sacrifices, I, I'm sure um, every CA student would have uh, is doing or is giving or, you know, will end up giving for sure. But um, trust me, all those sacrifices for five to six years of your life. Uh, but post that, you are sorted. You know, your life is really sorted. Um, and 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 the society see you with a different eye for to, for sure. Um, it really when you say you're a chartered accountant, people say, that, oh wow, that's the most toughest one. How did you crack it? So that's what impression you get once it's done. So it's just a matter of pushing yourself. I have not been a very talented student all my years, all my life. It's all about hard work, and I think that's what uh, made me where I am here. That's super good, uh, Kushbu. Right, something we all can relate to as well. The day. The day you pass out, you become a chartered accountant, you have this tag. It's simply amazing wherever you go, not just in India, but anywhere across the world as well, right? They they really look up to you. Then post completing your chartered accountancy, right? Uh, you join the country practice of a big four. How was that experience overall for you? Yeah, it was my first interview after my qualification and I didn't want to say no. Of course, it was a big four. Um, and um, I do wanted to do an audit as well. So that's how I started my journey in Big Four. Um, was I was really lucky um, that I got that platform in the start of my career. And um, and trust me, it, it, it gave a direction uh, to my entire career. I would say the first job should always be thought and taken. Um, that's what I, I feel. Um, that's what was right for me. Um, and it gave me a lot of exposure. I mean, right from where I started my you know journey as a as a student college girl, and of course, um, you know, uh, then I became uh, a wife. But then moving on to a professional, um, you know, working on a big four kind of platform. Uh, I still remember when it was my first day. I was just seeing that uh, entire office, and I called my mom. I said, uh, "Is it? I mean, mom, do you think I'd be able to survive here?" <laughs> <laughs> because I was so nervous. But yeah, um, 
it was amazing years um, and i'm really happy and proud to be part of uh, that big four yeah that's super good uh, kushbu right and working in a big four i feel it's it's not easy but it's not impossible as well right the working hours are demanding but that really shapes you as a professional as well uh, and especially country practice it's it's a different ball game all together right and during your career you you moved on from a country practice to a global uh, practice all together of a big four right how was that transition for you yeah so after 3 years of country practice exposure um in between i then um, I, i was blessed with a baby girl as well uh, so i i got an aisha in my life and then i thought i want to do something different um, wanted different exposure in life in my career and i opted for a global practice so yeah and then was associated with another big four but um, haven't uh, and i'm still continuing with that big four it's been over 6 years now uh, and i'm loving my job so yeah that's amazing uh, and what difference do you see uh, is there between a country practice and a global practice and specifically many people do ask right after you complete the ca course in india is it actually worth joining the global practice i'm sure i'm sure so many people have asked me in fact when i go ahead and i take interview for my firm um even you know the interview you ask me that you know can you tell me what keeps you driving so i think it's something which i have always come across and i would really like to inform uh, one thing that being part of a global practice give lot of elements to life in terms of you know people element people aspect teaming aspect like um i have seen uh, how people are given um, you know more priorities how uh, you know if someone wants to have an um, you know global experience want to just go out for a rotation how those um, you know requirements and stuff have been taken care um, basically it's a platform like if you if you think big um, definitely uh, you would get it and uh, um, there have been uh, one element in my life as well um, there's a recent topic hot topic which is going on which is blockchain uh and i'm glad that because i'm part of a global practice i'm able to contribute there so i'm actually leading that from my firm side so but if uh, i mean um uh, in if i would be in india practice of course i would have not got that opportunity uh, at the earliest uh, possible but yeah so they are again uh, it depends upon people uh, perspective what they want to do in life um i really wanted to do something on a global role i wanted to go out i got an opportunity went on rotations have had a lot of uh, visits as well um so yeah was part of some summits as well at a global level so that's what keeps me motivating and happy so that's the reason why i chose it that's simply great uh, khushbu right and working for our, for a global practice has its own perks and benefits as well like we have traveled a lot uh, across these say 6 7 or 8 years what whatever we have worked in this firm right so that is super good uh, of late there was a very very big surprise for all of us right you were awarded the amazing women award how was that feeling overall of course it was one of my most memorable days of my life um, and i really really want to thank my firm uh, my leaders without whose support of course i would have not been able to get uh, to that level but most importantly i would like to just inform that how the firm made us feel like you know at the end um, the the kind of support they gave um, you know to to women and uh, knowing that you know how many challenges we have at home as well right but despite of um, you know uh, the challenges if we are contributing uh, that's being recognized that's been you know acknowledged and that's something what we as a woman look forward to right so i think giving having that kind of award was something uh, in in a firm uh, that to a big four uh, was more than what we could have asked for so and was really blessed that i was chosen as one of the uh, amazing women award uh, candidate so yeah looking i mean as a winner as actually so yeah i was really happy excited and um, of course it gave immense uh, happiness to my family as well then uh, as you know right when we started the video i i did mention that ca exams are coming up right what would be the top tips you would want to give uh, to the students out there of course um, so yes just one tip for everyone um, 
forget everything in life at this moment and just go back to your books. That's the only thing which will help you. The moment you're out of books, everyone will be, you know, waiting for you with open arms and they'll accept you back. So it's okay. People, they will wait for you. If they are your loved ones, they will give you that space and they will wait for you. Um, but this particular time is only what you need to focus on your studies. I know it is very easy when said, um, but trust me, it's the only mantra. Um, just forget everything, especially phones. And I'm not, I'm not kidding, but um, my phone used to be switched off when um, it were, it was my exams were near and during my exam days as well. And that time it was new phones as well, right? So. Uh, but it's just an advice, if possible, kindly just get away with those notifications and stuff. Uh, it's, it's just your time to, you know, to study and work hard. That's it. And just a matter of few days or months. So then life is back to yours. Glad we didn't have so much of Instagram or Facebook or whatever <laughs> we had, right? So it's it's so distracting, yeah. I would say. So luckily, we, we were exempted from, from all all these but yeah that's that's a good um, advice um, and, and i feel getting distracted is very easy but focusing is something it's it's really tough but once you do it the results are really amazing i i feel right so thanks a lot kushbu uh, i know we have kept it very brief but some really amazing messages uh, your journey how you completed your CACS after your marriage you are a very proud mother we have seen anisha how she is she's growing up how talented she is how much time you also spend with her as well along with your work your other commitments at home so it's it's really amazing inspiring thanks a lot for uh, inspiring us at every day leading all the way i i would say right in in most of the things we do thanks a lot anything you would want to conclude or say yeah i would like to thank you param uh, first of all for you know giving me this opportunity where i can share my uh, personal story uh, to so many people now but yes i would also like to um, you know request whoever is watching this video that um, he is an amazing person and an awesome colleague to work as well and i would like everyone to please like comment and subscribe do subscribe to his channel and we all will make it big so all the best, Param, for your journey ahead. But had a lovely time speaking to you uh, in this channel and looking forward to many more in future. Great, Kushbu. Thanks a lot. And thanks for making that appeal as well. It's very difficult for me <laughs> to do that. But uh, thanks for doing that on my, my behalf. And wishing everyone the best uh, for the upcoming exams. Do not feel stressed out. Do not feel even think about skipping your attempt. It's not worth it at all. Go to the exam center, sit for those three, three and a half hours where you are there. Just focus on that. That will make your life super good. Uh, I would say it's just a matter of few days. You'll be a chartered accountant very soon. We wish you the best. Thanks for watching this video and we'll bring more content. Thank you. Bye. Take care.